Hello guys, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. How are you guys? How are you doing? Hello, Yvonne. Good evening, Mr. Reyes. Great to see you. Hi, Carla. Mr. Amaya, how are you? Hi, Dalila. Acabo de leer su mensaje, Dalila. Eh, no hay ningún problema. Eh, Completala. So work on them. That's totally good. No problem. So thanks everybody for, for joining. Uh, thank you for being here in today's um, session, right? Really nice to have you on this Wednesday. Hi, Ceti. Good evening. How are you? Hi, Sylvia. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. How are you guys? Are you doing fine? Are you good? How was your day? El día de ayer les preguntaba, how was your day? So guys, give me a little bit of information. ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How was it? Did you have a good day? Was it tiring? Was it heavy? Was it difficult? Um, so, ¿cómo estuvo? How was that? And Joel, how was your day? Me imagino que sigue descansando, I believe. So, ¿cómo estuvo? How was it? Um, my day is uh, ir ir relaxed. Okay, it was relaxing, okay. Why? ¿Qué hizo? What did you do? Um, I, I do... I do homework. And, okay. And I watch TV. I, uh, I, I, uh, I'm. In, solamente que Okay. No, but that's okay. I study in English. So, to viendo, I watch in video. Uh, you watched yeah. some videos. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, but that's very good. All right. Practicó los verbos. Did you practice the verbs? Yes. Eh, hay un método que estaba viendo de estar viendo pedazos de, de, de series y uno ir repitiendo las palabras. Okay. ¿Cómo le fue? How did it go? Mm. Eso ayuda mucho con pronunciación. That helps with pronunciation. Yes, so, yeah. mm -hmm. That's actually a very good exercise. But I'm super glad. Me alegra mucho you, that you had a very nice day. A very productive. Se escucha que fue bastante productivo. So I'm really glad about it. Okay, very good. Guys, what about the rest of you? ¿Cómo les fue? How did it go? Did you have a good day? Was it good? Was it bad? Ceci, ¿cómo estuvo su día? How was it? Hello, Miss. Hello. My day is uh, very... ¿Cómo se dice pesado? <laughs> that was very heavy or yeah. very difficult. Very difficult. Why? Why was it difficult? Um, Attention de clientes, ¿cómo se dice? Okay, so you helped customers. Customer, um, organization, uh, inventario. Inventory, inventory. Inventory. Um, uh, prepare uh, pedidos, ¿cómo se dice? Okay, orders. Those are the orders. Yes. Okay, okay, that's actually a very good one. So, ya vamos a trabajar, right, with all of this vocabulary, but sounds really nice, sounds good. So, uh, what about the rest? ¿Cómo les fue los demás, guys? Did you have a good day? Was it good? Was it okay? Me? Hello? Hi. My, my, my day is difficult. I Why? Work, I work in rapport. I, 
¿Cómo se dice? Eh, seleccionando personal, eh, haciendo entrevistas. Okay. Ay, I did. Ay, I did. Ajá. I did interviews. I did interviews. Um, okay. Y seleccioné personal. Uh -huh. So, I did interviews, de hecho, en Global most of those, but then we can say, I did interviews, I selected personnel, so we can use those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so suena de hecho bastante ocupado. It sounds kind mm -hmm. of difficult. Yeah. Okay, very, very good. Alguien más nos quiere compartir? What did you do, guys? ¿Qué hicieron ahora? What did you do? Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Ah, okay. And the day was very hot. And we we had no power all day. Uh, I'm sorry, the day was very hard, you said. That, that was hard? Estuvo difícil? Was it difficult? Yes. Okay, por qué? Why? What did uh, you do? Como no, no tuvimos energía todo el día. Ah, there was no electricity. Yes. Okay, there wasn't any electricity. Got it, got it. All right, that's really bad, actually. So, but anyways, um, ¿se fue a la casa por eso? Did you go home? ¿O se quedó a trabajar? Did you stay at work? No, teníamos que estar todo el día siempre allá en el lugar de trabajo. Sin electricidad. <laughs> oh, sí. that was bad. Was it boring? Un día aburrido. Was it boring? Yes. Oh, that's really bad. But anyways, okay. anyways, I'm really bad. Um, it's sad to hear that. So thank you so much, guys. Gracias por compartir un poquito de su día. Thank you for that. Um, Ivan, good evening. Great to see you. Juan Antonio, hello. How you doing? Uh, I think I have Miss Molina. So hi, Silvia. Great to see you. Catherine, good evening. Jorge, great to see you too. And no sé si ya dije Maynard, but otherwise Maynard, hi. <laughs> so gracias, guys. Thanks a lot for joining. Uh, Maynard, ya le reporté la situación que tenemos con la platform and uh, espero que le den, eh, los compañeros le van a estar dando seguimiento, right? So solamente quedamos eh, pendientes de esa parte. So, um, let me just take a look here really quick. Okay, guys. So today, vamos, parte de los objetivos for today es trabajar un poquito con simple past, right? Es un tema, as we said yesterday, no es que sea complicado, pero sí nos requiere que memoricemos verbos, right? We got to memorize eh, most of them. Okay, no hay problema. No worries, Maynard. Gracias. Me alegra que ya tenga acceso. I'm glad. So, um, in order to do that, vamos a ir revisando verbos. We're going to be checking some verbs. And we're going to be checking also uh, some vocabulary that is necessary to... <laughs> Jorge, I like your picture. That looks very cool. Real. I don't know what it is. No sé si es un ratón, a cat. I don't really know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a rabbit. Yeah, or a ratón. Rat. Rat. Okay, so I read. Okay, but anyways, so um, I have some pictures here, right? Uh, they are very famous uh, things. Uh, so guys, the idea is to talk about these pictures. It says, say something about the pictures. Guys, díganme lo que se les ocurra. Tell me whatever comes to your mind con esas pictures. Um, denme oraciones completas, please. Give me full sentences. What do you think about soda? No me digan solo good, delicious, sino la oración completa, right? Uh, it is a very delicious drink or any idea that comes to your mind. We have Will Smith. We have a, the girl from Harry Potter, right? And we have a cat here. So, okay, guys, the microphone is all yours. What can you tell me about these pictures? What can you tell me about the soda, about Coca-Cola? Do you like it? You don't like it? What do you think about it? It's dangerous drink. 
Oh, I sugar. like, okay. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's a very dangerous drink. It's more sugar. Yeah, it has a lot of sugar, but it is so delicious. <laughs> so guys, what can you tell us about soda? Do you like Coca-Cola? Do you like sodas in general? What, what, what can you say about it? Uh, so, Silvia, what about you, girls? This is mm -hmm. uh, a drink high sugar um, caffeine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What else? Tell us, guys. You can activate your mic and tell us about it. I I like their opinion on soda. I think that's really good. Um, what about uh, Will Smith? Do you have anything to share on Will Smith? What do you know about the man? He's in an actor. Okay. So yes. Is a man explosivo, como sería, teacher? Um, maybe impulsive? Yeah. Because me, me, I think que se refiere como a lo, no sé si es agresivo o solo yeah, impulsivo. Agresivo, uh -huh. Okay, so aggressive, we can say. Uh -huh. ah, she is, oh. a, he is a man aggressive. Okay, so he's aggressive. The Oscar presentation. Okay. But uh, it's best actor in, in movies. I agree. He is a really good actor for me. Maybe one of my favorite actors. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Agree. All right. What can, what can you tell us guys about Will Smith? Do you like his movies? Or the music? Yes. Hi. Hi, Sandra. Hello. Hello. How you doing? What do you like about Will Smith? Uh, all the movies, but I like to the films uh, comedy. He is the a, Prince. A queen. Yes. The Rock. The rap uh, prince? Yes. No. Bell Bell Air Prince. Bell I don't, Air. I'm not sure. Uh huh. I'm not Bell sure. Air. The Prince of Bel Air. The I Prince see. of Bel Air. Oh, okay. Yes, I have never seen it. You know, is it good? It's so cool. Yes. But the, that is comedy. The last right? mm -hmm. Richard, the last yes, movie. It's comedy. Is Emancipation. Is is very nice. Uh, the last movie, the independent movie. No, emancipation, emancipation. emancipation? Yeah, it's but so good. That is independent, right? Independent. Yeah. Um, no. Like theater. No. Is is es un esclavo buscando la libertad. Oh, okay. So he's just like emancipation, emancipation. I think I have not seen it. It says hacia la libertad. The movie. But that is a new one. Yeah. Después de lo que pasó con los Oscars, after everything with the Oscars. ¿Cómo sería antes? Before. Before. Ah, okay. It's, okay. It's, Emancipation. Yeah. We have to watch that. 2021. It's the movie. No, the movie okay. is uh -huh, 2021, 2022, okay. Yeah, for some reason, you know, siento que estamos en el mismo año, so. <laughs> and uh, that, that's a very good point, okay. En busca de la felicidad, says Maynard. Uh, so that would be the pursuit, in the pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you like that one? Do you like the pursuit of happiness? Yes. Yes. 
I don't like it. It is so. Why? I, I, I couldn't say uh, there is too much drama. I think. And I love. I am your, a legend. Really? Do you like this yeah. kind? Okay, I'm a legend. Yes, I'm a legend. Is a yes. classic. Uh, and the other one, I Robot, I think. That was the yeah, really that's the other one. But I believe my favorite maybe is um not my voice not, teacher. Yeah, that one, that one. I like the song. <laughs> and and you know, a very bad boy, bad boy. What did yeah. you do? <laughs> oh, you know the song. <laughs> okay. And something interesting is guys, no sé si sabían, um well, yo me interesa poco, you know, <laughs> that the song Bad Boys De hecho, la canta él. He is one of the singers. I was like, oh, so that's cool. That's really cool. All right. Algo más, guys, que quieran agregar de Will Smith? Do you know any random fact? ¿Saben algo adicional from uh, this guy? No. no. Not much about him. All right. He was in, in Guatemala, by the way. Like last year, I believe. I was like, oh, come to El Salvador. Okay, men in black. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, what about, um, I have forgotten her name, you know? I remember her, but for some reason, se me ha escapado. So I just remember her because of Hermione Granger. So do you remember Emma her name? Watson. Emma, thank Emma you so much. Watson. Yes, there you go. What do you know about Emma? Do you know any information about her? She's an actress. Okay. She's an actress, yes. Okay. She's a beautiful woman. Mm, okay, she's really beautiful. Anything else? I see. I uh, how do you say protagonizo? She Sorry. was the lead. You can say she was the lead or she was the main character. She, she was the main? Mm -hmm. She was the main character, main character or she was the lead character. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Thank you. And mm -hmm. she was the lead character. Um the Harry Potter. Yeah, she was, and she did a very nice job. Yes. So, uh, you know, in this sense, um, cuando hablamos de, de um, actors and actresses, utilizamos esta palabra, right? Que es character. So character is como el actor, right? So she was the main character. Fue como el actor o la actriz principal. We can use the word character for that. And uh, so just not to make it a confusion, right? Not to confuse it, uh, con character de personalidad. It's a little different. So there we go. And okay, and guys, let's go with the last. Uh, let me see. Start, oh, starting the movie Beauty and the Beast. Okay, yeah, that's really nice. I like it. All right. What about cats, guys? Are you fans of cats? Yes. They are very fluffy and grumpy. <laughs> I remember you mentioned you had a cat and a dog, right? Yes. Okay, so I remember very well. All right. Guys, what about the rest? Are you fans of cats? Have you ever seen uh, Garfield or like any of these cats? Yes. Did you like those cartoons? Uh, and not today. Okay, so not anymore. No. Okay, okay, I see. What about the rest of you guys? Were you big fans of uh, those animated cats? I like that, but I don't have it. Okay. And dogs? Too. Neither. So neither. you don't have don't cats. Have okay. No, no, me neither. I don't have. I don't but have. I don't have because um, nobody's at home. 
so I don't want to have, you know, pets that way. Mm -hmm. So I totally get it. All right, very good. Okay, guys, that was actually very nice. Now let's go ahead and let's review some of the verbs we had for today. Como tarea para ahora, guys, les pedí que practicaran cinco verbos. I asked you to memorize five verbs. Revisémoslos antes de continuar. Let's check them really quick. ¿Se recuerdan cuáles eran? Do you remember them? Solo eran cinco, right? It was only five. Do. Okay. Do. Do. Make. Okay. Make. Come. 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 Okay. ¿Qué más? Give. Get. 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 Okay. Give. Give. Okay, very good. There we go. So we have these birds, right? Eh, los cinco, the five of them, son irregulares. So um, obviously vamos a intentar ir dando de una sola vez oraciones. And lo más fácil, um, at the moment, ahorita, right? At this very moment, it's fine si necesitan escribirlas. But personally, guys, les voy a recomendar que intenten no escribirlas. Try not to write them. Intentemos ir de una sola vez armándolas en la cabeza. So, eso va a evitar que nos que traduzcamos y que sigamos pensando en español, right? No es malo pensar en español. El problema es que nos acostumbremos tanto que no... Eh, que nos vayamos a ir trabando, right? At the moment that we turn to English. So let's go ahead and check it really quick. So, tenemos these verbs, right? So, do se convierte en did, make se convierte en made, come came, get that, give gave. Yo me los aprendo con música. Ustedes apréndanselo de la manera que sea más fácil for you. Si les funciona escribirlos, hacer planes, do it. Si les funciona grabarlos como musiquita, do it. Si les funciona hacer dibujitos, you know, para entenderlo o hacer tarjetas, that's really good. O con post-its, you know. Find a way que se les haga fácil. Normally, yo me aprendí los tres, las tres formas, con, como música. So I was like, do, de, don, make, made, made, come, came, come, get, got, got, give, gave, given. Um, and yo necesito ir haciendo esto con los dedos, you know, para que se me quede más rápido. So, si les funciona, you know, give it a try. So, podemos decir como do, do, make, make, come, came, get, got, give, gave. Remember, todos aprendemos de forma diferente. And si ustedes aprenden haciendo eh, sonidos, you know, usando las manos, do it, use it. Because um, that helps a lot. So, um, really quick, guys. Eh, give me an example using give. So, ¿qué dieron el día de ahora? What did you give today? ¿A quién se lo dieron? What happened today? Can you give me some examples? Uh, comencemos con el último. Let's get started with give. Deme ejemplos, guys. Give me examples. ¿Qué es lo que dieron el día de ahora? ¿O qué les dieron a ustedes el día de ahora? Remember, no vamos a complicarnos mucho. Lo único que vamos a ir haciendo es sujeto. Esto no lo pueden quitar. You cannot eliminate this so subject. Y luego este verbo, it's going to be in past. Sobre el pasado del verbo, right? And then any complement that you can have. So, no es necesario que lo, ya van a ver que no es necesario que lo traduzcan o que lo piensen en español. Si ustedes siguen la estructura, es bien fácil. It's really easy. Now, también puedo decir cosas que yo no hice, cosas que no di, etc. And voy a utilizar para las negativas, diren. Y el verbo va a ser en la base form, right? Y luego, any sort of extra complement we want to add. And that's it. Complement. All right. So, ¿cómo voy a armarla, guys? Bien fácil, vayamos armándolo juntos. Necesito, vamos a comenzar obviamente con el I. Now, I, y díganme el, el verbo en pasado y, y el resto, right? Eso es todo. I did, el que I, I, I made, I, 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 I
I gave the screen. I gave the screen. Mm -hmm. Yo recibí o oh, no es recibir. Mm, no. Eh, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Creo que estamos utilizando. I go, I go to the beach. Ok, solo guys, si me ayudan un poquito con el volumen, creo que alguien tiene la radio un poquito alta. Mm. <laughs> okay, I, got, thank you. I got to the beach, sería así, teacher. Sí, That's right? possible, yes, I got to the beach, uh, como yo llegué, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O yo, okay. o sí, yo okay. fui, porque sí, es pasado. Uh -huh. uh, to the beach, yes, because get is multibutos acá. So yeah, that sounds good. Porque está, hay una plaza que... Ok, so there we go. So I got to the beach. Guys, denme más ejemplos con estos verbos. Give me more examples. Remember, I y luego el verbo en pasado y el complemento. Any extra information? My husband gave me a ice cream, a coffee oh, ice cream. Ok, ok, very nice. Vamos, guys. Intenten no escribirlos, try not to write them. Intenten de una sola vez irlo armando. Juan Antonio. I didn't my task today. I didn't? I didn't do my, ta my task today. Okay. Which task? My work task. Your work task? Yeah, you, my You didn't task. work? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, okay. I just <laughs> see my phone. Oh my God. Necesito un yes. trabajo así. <laughs> I need a job like that. Okay, that's a very good one. Okay, guys, give me more examples. What do you have? So, um, creo que no he escuchado one. Mr. Reyes, do you have any examples for us? Uh, Joel, do you have any? Ivan, uh, any? Mm -hmm. I I can mm -hmm. I can at the hospital. Okay. Okay, la oración está bien gramaticalmente, solo una cosita. Cuando usted dice I came es porque se refiere al lugar donde está ahorita. So came ah. es yo vine. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero ¿a dónde está ahorita usted? Where are you? Are you at home? Oh. Ok, so came se tiene que referir como actividades eh, que sucedió al momento, por ejemplo, que llegó, pero ¿a dónde está ahorita? So, sería mm -hmm. I came. I came uh -huh. in my home. Mm -hmm. I came home, you can say. Y luego el complemento puede ser a la hora, right? I came home late. I came, I home. came home early. At I the came five o'clock. At five o'clock, exactly. So, la oración anterior estaba bien, that was good, solo que come es al, al lugar donde usted está ahorita. Mm -hmm. Sí. Ok, yeah, pero es como vine, es más un vine. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. ok. My boyfriend came, came to visit Hello, me teacher. today. That's a very good one, Dalila. Yes, Mr. Reyes, tell us, tell us. Yes, otro ejemplo es como I made lunch today. Yes, very good. I made lunch today. Okay, guys. Vamos, intenten no escribirlos. Don't write them down. I gave to report uh, to my boss. Okay, that's a very good one. So I gave the report to my boss. Okay, yes. Come okay, on, guys. Let's go, let's go. Creo que no he escuchado a Ivan. Let's go, guys. Karen. I came late to my house. Okay. I came late to my house. Very good. That's the one. So if you take a look, no es complicado. And la idea, guys, es que no vayamos dependiendo tanto de, de traductor, right? Or de, to repeat things over and over again. Let me check. I made my I made my tea this day. Okay, that's all right. So, uh, Dalila, that looks good. I made my tea this day. Uh, Maynard, su oración está bien gramaticalmente, pero con tarea, con la palabra homework, um, la única posibilidad es con do. So, sería I did my homework this morning. Solo cambiamos el verbo. Uh, eso es por cuestión meramente de vocabulario, but... 
pero la estructura está súper bien. I didn't go to my mother's house. Oh, very good. I like that example. Okay, guys, very nice. So good job. Good job with that. I have a little activity here. So, um, if you remember, en módulo uno, ustedes practicaron cómo hablar de su rutina, right? Cómo hablar, ah, me levanto, me despierto, eh, voy a trabajar, salgo, etc. Pero una rutina lo decimos en presente. What we are going to do now, ustedes ya se pueden hasta de memoria la rutina. So, ahora vamos a intentar hacer el cambio a pasado, right? Vamos a intentar contar qué pasó, what happened, in this person's life. Vamos a hacerlo lo mismo que presente, pero voy cambiando los verbos a pasado, right? So, okay. Take a look at... Um, okay, okay, okay. So, obviamente, these pictures no están en orden. They are not in order. And vamos a intentar a ponerlas en el orden que ustedes crean que va. So, first, look at the picture. ¿Qué creen que pasó acá? What, what do you think happened here? Primero sería, I take, I take, I get up. Ah, ok. So, primero puede ser, I get up, yes. ¿Y cuál es el pasado de get? Lo acabamos de revisar. What is the pass of get? Give, I give. Got, I got, I got, I got, got, got. Ah, I got, ok. I got. Entonces, I get. Ok, I get up se convierte en I got up. I got up. Ajá. I got up early, I got up late, I got up late, at eight, at night, exactly. And then vamos solo a ir cambiando. Lo mismo de presente, pero me, me tengo que recordar en cambiar el verbo, right? So, ok, first, I got up. ¿Qué creen que pasó después que se levantó? What do you think happened after that? I take the bus. Oh, ok, probablemente I take the bus, pero como take, tengo que contarlo en pasado, ¿cuál es el pasado de take? Here, I took the bus, there we go, yo también puedo decir yo corrí hacia el bus, so I have run, ¿cuál es el pasado de run? Run. Run, solo le cambiamos una letra. Now, pueden tener a la mano la lista de verbos, open the list of verbs, right, para que los vayan buscando, so you can look for them, y vayamos haciendo los cambios. Remember, es lo mismo, I get up, I take the bus, I take a shower, I have breakfast, pero solo recuérdense cambiar el verbo a pasado, eso es todo lo que vamos a hacer, that's the only thing we'll be doing. So, vamos a trabajarlo en grupos, we're gonna do it in groups. Eh, pónganse de acuerdo cuál es la primera. What is the second one? And take notes, right? Ahora sí, guys, take notes. Y luego nos comparten. Hay muchas cosas que pueden inventar here. So, be as creative as you want. Guys, tenemos cinco minutitos. We got five minutes. Make your story. No se les olvide utilizar conectores. Later. After that. Then, etc. So, five minutes, guys. Go to the groups, please.
Already, guys. So thanks a lot for coming back. Como les fue con la historia? Was it kind of hard to make it? ¿Se pudieron poner de acuerdo? Did you get in agreement? Yes, teacher. Okay, amazing. That sounds really good. So, um, all right, let's go ahead and uh, first let's check. ¿Cuál es el orden que decidieron? What's the order you have there? Porque probablemente you're going to have a different order here. So, give me one second. All right, so, ¿cuál tienen primero? What do you have first? Like uh, this one, the one at the bottom? ¿O con cuál iniciaron? What was the first for you? She's on that here. On the number six and number one. Okay, so this one and this one. All right, so very good. Guys, comiencen a contarnos su historia. What happened in this story? She woke up late okay. and then she brushed her teeth and took a shower. Okay. And she brushed her hair, but she lost a lot of hair when she brushed. Then mm -hmm. she run to the bus. Okay. But she lost the bus. Okay, okay. Um after uh, uh, some minutes, she arrived to her office, but okay. she thought about the carnival in the lake. Oh, then, very interesting. Uh -huh. Then she went to the lake. Mm -hmm. And when she was in the carnival, she ate a uh, sugar cotton. Oh, that's actually very nice. I like it. No se me hubiera ocurrido, you know, thought about like, to think about a lake. Okay, very interesting. Um, okay, very good guys. That's a very nice story. Eh, solamente una cosita con lo del bus, right? Eh, quiero decir que la dejó el bus. In that case, utilizamos la palabra miss. So that would be she miss. The bus. Eh, that's the only thing. Lo demás super bien. Very well structured. All right. Thank you. Okay, guys. So next. ¿Qué más nos quiere contar? What kind of a story you have? Let me pick up some people. So that was Karen. Okay, guys. Vamos con el grupo uno. Oh, I, I see Caesar. Hi, Caesar. So I have Silvia, <laughs> Sandra, I have Cesar, Mr. Reyes, and I have Yvonne. Guys, ¿qué nos quiere contar la historia? Tell us the story here. Anybody? La lograron terminar, guys. Did you were you able to finish? I don't know if Sylvia took a note. Oh, but okay. For me, it's too different to Karen. Sorry, Karen. Ah, okay, amazing, amazing. Esta es la belleza del pensamiento crítico, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Todos tenemos ideas diferentes. Amazing. But okay. I don't know if Sylvia. Tell Silvia us. era la secretaria. So, Silvia, Silvia Estela or Silvia Inés? I don't know. I don't know. I okay. only see Silvia. <laughs> okay, so Silvia. <laughs> ¿Quién tomó notas, girls? Who took notes? So, ¿quién era la, la designada to, to take notes for this story? Uh, Silvia okay. Stella, was it you? Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hi, Miss. <laughs> ¿Era usted o Silvia Inés? Mm, pues no me di cuenta. <laughs> Pero estábamos haciendo eh, toda la información y entonces, eh, como decíamos, eh, I get up, me decía usted que lo contrario sería I go, I go, I go up, algo así, ¿verdad? Y yes, solamente se cambia el presente a pasado. Uh -huh. I got I got up. Uh -huh. I got up in the at uh, six. Yeah. Uh, sería para decir la hora sería at six 
uh, o'clock. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the sería number two. Uh, mm -hmm. I say, uh, bueno, sería I uh, say the bus. Lo en pasado sería mm -hmm. I got. No me creo, pero, ay, perdón, perdón, perdón. Sería lo pasado. I made, eh, I take lo pasado, sería, permítanme. Uh -huh. eh, okay. She took a shower. ¿Cuál era? She took a shower. No sé si, ok, no sé si ella se refería al bus, but ok. Sí, oh, al sí. bus. Ok. Sí. Ah, okay. sí. Pero, el verbo, pero el verbo sí es el que Sandra menciona, so that would be took. Mm -hmm. uh, I took, sí, mm -hmm. I took the bus, in, o lo que usted decía sería, I took, took que sería, ¿verdad? The bus. Mm, talk. No, uh, that would be took. I took. Uh -huh. I took the, the bus. Mm -hmm. O lo que usted decía que era I took uh, the toll in the bus. Uh, yo iba a ser caminando al bus. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería? Can you repeat that? Sería I took, I took, I took the bus. Mm -hmm. Y como usted dijo, I, I run the bus. Okay, I run for the bus. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces yo había dicho, I told, caminando. I, told I walked. That, I told. I walked. Uh -huh. Sí, I walked. Talk, talk que se habla. Ah, no, no, no. I walk. Uh -huh. I walk. Uh -huh. To the bus. Okay, walk. okay. In the bus. Eh, la siguiente, creo que lo dijo, eso sí lo dijo Silvia Inés, que era el del pelo. Okay. Se estaba peinando. Ahí si no, no sé si Silvina está ahí. I come the hair. Mm, okay. She come with the hair. I come with the hair. Yes, we can use it. All right. Y, sí. Y de ahí, el, el, lo que yo veo, la imagen del río, del, del, del paisaje. She went to the river. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Y de ahí está lo del comer el la uh, kit. Candy. Candy. candy, no sé qué. Coron ¿Qué candy. No sé? Ah, vale. Coron candy. Okay, yeah. so she ate or she had some cotton candy. All right, very good. That sounds actually very nice. De hecho, that's, that was my idea originally, like, ella se bañaba en el río, but <laughs> it's very yes, interesting I... que todos tienen different ideas here. All right. No, for very me, nice it's the first is the river, next uh, at candy, color candy, ah, okay. and because she, she got late to the bed, okay. and oh. she got up late, she took a a shower okay. and she had with she had a problem with her hair oh so that's different <laughs> that's even yes. more different me, okay so okay <laughs> but, oh that, that's uh, all right she moved to for the bus okay and she worked she worked on in the office all day oh okay okay very nice so those are the story different i guess you got yeah. like different stories okay Okay, but that's actually sounds, that sounds fine. All right, guys, vamos con the next group. I have, uh, oh no, I got her in there. Okay, so I have Ceci, Ivan, Jorge, Juan Antonio, and Carla. What guys, eh, se pusieron de acuerdo con la historia? Were you able to get in agreement with the story? ¿Quién nos la va a contar? Yo creo que veo a Ceci ready, so Ceci, let's go with you. <laughs> vamos así, practiquemos, let's do it. Hello, Miss. Hello. No la terminamos nosotros. No, no hay problema. No worries. Ustedes eh, ayúdenos hasta donde la tenga y luego los compañeros que nos vayan agregando más. That's ok. okay. Eh, nosotros la hicimos así. She's got, uh, got up later. Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. um, she's come back fast. Uh, she go on the bus. Mm -hmm. he, she missed the bus. Okay, she missed the bus too. All right. ¿Y ¿Qué foto les faltó? ¿La de la oficina creería? ¿The one from the office? Ajá, y la de el, la, ¿cómo se llama esta cosa? El dulce. Oh, and the candy. Okay, so we just missed that one. Okay, okay, okay. But that, actually, that sounds really good so far. That sounds very nice. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, if you check, es lo mismo que presente, pero eh, en los verbos nos... Llegamos al punto en el que si no sabemos los verbos, nos cuesta más, right? It toma más tiempo porque debo de irlos buscando. So that's why they are very, very important. So let's move on a little bit. Vamos a trabajar un poquito con su material, guys. We're going to be working on your material. El día de ayer trabajamos un poquito los verbos irregulares. Trabajamos la parte de didn't. And the, the previous day trabajamos was and wasn't. Ahora vamos a unirlos. We are going to put everything together. La parte de was, were, con los verbos. Eh, solo recuerden, ellos nunca se unen. En una oración yo nunca puedo tener I was, went. I was, ate. No puedo combinar dos verbos y menos si ambos están en pasado, right? That is not possible. So, Um, let's take a look at the following part and uh, para que los revisamos, you know, let's take a look at your material. Les comparto pantalla, let me share a screen here and we are going to move to page number 30. So everybody, let's go to page number 30. There we have, write the sentences, oh my God. Wait, what, what, what's going on there? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I don't know what happened. But something else is happening. Um, oh my God, what is going on? Ok, uh, guys, quick question. No sé qué le pasa a mi computadora. Eh, ¿Qué ven en la pantalla? What do you see? <laughs> That's a really good question. The page of the, the book. Page two. Ok, qué raro. Yo veo otras cosas aquí. Ok, never mind. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So, take a look at this part. Um, so, again, si vemos los ejemplos, right? Tenemos, it was a great experience. No uso otro verbo. I gave my account information. No uso el verbo was, ni were, ni did. El did lo voy a guardar hasta que tenga preguntas o negativas, right? Ahorita no es el caso, así que we are not going to use it, solo los verbos. Take a look at this exercise and there we have write the sentences with the words provided using past of be or simple past. So, ¿qué es lo que me voy a recordar to make the sentences? Y para que no nos cueste, easy. Todas las oraciones llevan estructura. And si la sigo, no me voy a complicar. So, the verb va a estar en pasado. It's going to be in past. Y luego complement. Y eso es todo. Necesito tres elementos para hacer una oración successful. En el verbo in past puede ser o el verbo to be. Or el verbo que ya me dan acá, right? So, eso es todo, guys. No se compliquen. Don't complicate it. And uh, sigan esa estructura. De hecho, háganlo así en línea, si les parece. Debajo, I, she, you, y luego el verbo. Y van a ver que es bastante fácil. So, um, take a look at the first. It says, I be interested, que no es un verbo, sino es un adjetivo. I be interested and I have product. Quiero decir que yo estaba interesada en el producto. Now, how can I say that in English? I was interested. Okay, so I was, right? Porque es el verbo que tengo. Interested, yo estaba interesada. I was interested in... The product. The Acá product. me faltan un par de letras, entonces yo puedo agregar lo que me haga falta. Yo estaba interesante en tu producto. I was interested in the product. 
Again, este no es pasado, este es un adjetivo, right? De interés. So, y si se fijan, hay sujeto, el verbo es pasado y el complemento, que es la información adicional. Y eso es todo. That's it, right? Guys, eh, les voy a dar un par de minutitos. I'll give you some minutes para que completemos los otros cinco. Let's complete the rest of them. Tenemos el verbo by, right? We have by, read, gave, que ya se los da en pasado. We have send, es un verbo irregular, el cambia. Y tenemos otra vez el verbo to be, right there. Remember, es la página número 30. Si tienen el material, you can use your material. Let me know, guys, si alguien se queda atascado, right? Or the, eh, lo encuentra muy confuso, or simplemente no haya como, como organizarlo para que podamos... Um, para que podamos revisarlo y si es necesario... Eh, Explicar el tema otra vez, no hay problema. We can go ahead and do it. Dudas, guys, questions, ¿cómo van? So, so. Why? Tell me, tell me, Carlos. ¿Qué encuentra difícil? What do you find difficult? No, ahí estamos dando la estructura y ahí vamos dando. Ok, ok, very good. Si necesita ayuda, let me know. Perfecto.
teacher. Yes, miss. In the number, eh, sería in the number, no, I ah, in, a, in the number four, mm -hmm. I am difficult in the, in the simple past, in the organization. Eh, siguiendo el orden, subject sería my game. Eh, a discut ah no sería sería my gap uh -huh. a discut eh, in the supervision algo así mm, okay, okay that's a very good point and primero first um, it's necessary que identifiquemos quiénes son los sujetos right uh -huh, de quién uh -huh. estamos hablando porque de ahí es como uh -huh. la oración va a partir por ejemplo, uh -huh. tenemos el like uh -huh. y sabemos uh -huh. que hay es un sujeto sí. siempre, right? Uh -huh. It's a subject. Uh -huh. En el number two tenemos you y la oración siempre comienza con you. So ya lo identificamos and that's fine. Uh -huh. Number uh -huh. three, ¿cuál es el sujeto uh -huh. en la tercera, guys? What's the subject? She. 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 Number she. three, that would be she. So uh -huh. el I, you, she, he, it siempre van a ser sujetos. Uh -huh. Now, in number four, ¿Cuál sería sí. el sujeto? Mi sí. no sería. Mi sí, que sería. Be. Sí. The supervisor. Sí. Exactly. So estoy uh -huh. hablando de él. I'm talking about uh -huh. him. En number five, sí. ¿cuál es el sujeto? Sí. Okay. Sí. ok. En number six. Sí. Mm -hmm. sí. Exactly. So sí. voy a iniciar uh -huh. con ellos. Yes, por ejemplo. Ok, ya yeah, es un simple pass. Ya, yeah, ya yeah, es un bono. <laughs> that's okay. a bonus. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah, that's a bonus. Entonces sería en la fourth, sería he gave a discussion. O sería the supervisor, supervisor uh -huh. give a, dis, eh, a discussion. Uh, no sería the supervisor uh -huh. give my discussion. Ok, um, solo hay una cosita. Normalmente con el verbo give, preguntamos a quién, right? Gave me, gave me. el qué. So, yeah, so it's necessary. Hay elementos que siempre van a ir juntos. There are some words that go together all the time. Ahorita lo revisamos. Eh, guys, uh -huh. solo confirmemos que ya lo terminaron. Eh, give me confirmation, please, si les falta alguno para poder darles más tiempo. Or, si no, lo empezamos a revisar. Sí. Finished, okay? Mm -hmm. And the rest? Me. Finished, teacher. Okay, okay. La mayoría ya terminó, guys. Did you finish, Caesar? Yes. Carlos. Carlos. Carlos says. <laughs> uh, did you finish, guys? Hi, Jonathan. Uh, Karen, jo Joel, did you finish? Finish, Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. So let's go ahead, guys, and help me with it. Was a disappointed first. Okay. Uh, disappoint, disappointed uh, or disappointment es cuando usted dice, me siento decepcionado. Oh. <laughs> o me siento decepcionada, right? I remember, yeah, remember that in English, eh, los adjetivos no tienen género. So no importa okay. si es hombre o mujer, es la misma palabra. Mm -hmm, that's the okay, same. thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Pero sí, es para decepción. <laughs> That's a okay. really good Okay, guys, so number two. Let's take a look at the second. Uh, it says you buy the item December. Remember, eh, acá me faltan palabras, right? No voy a escribirlo tal cual. So number two, ¿qué tienen, guys? Give us some ideas. Comenzamos con you. You. You bought. You bought. Very good. The item. Yeah, so you bought the oh, item. Now, pregunta, question. Tengo December. ¿Qué voy a usar? In or on? Porque no es lo mismo. December. In December. On December. In December. Yes. Cuando tenemos solo meses, utilizamos in. Vamos a utilizar okay. on. Solo cuando tenemos la fecha exacta, right? Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, la hora, ahora es 22. So, on March 22nd. 
porque es una fecha exacta. De lo contrario, in March, in October, so in December. Very good. ¿La tenemos así? Do you have it like this? Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Number three. She. So, comenzamos con esta. She. She read. She read. She read. Okay. The police. Yes, that's it. De hecho, exactamente like this. Very good. I like it. So, read el pasado es red. Very good pronunciation. That's the one. Next one, guys. Number four. Comenzamos con uh, the supervisor, the right? Mm -hmm. The supervisor. Gave me. Gave me. Uh, a discount. Very good. So, the supervisor gave me a discount. So, me dio, uy, oh, me falta una letra, sorry. So, me dio. Yo también right? la tengo, ¿verdad, Daniel? Sorry. Mira. No, yo le mandé yo. Oh, no, pensé que era conmigo. Ok. <laughs> <laughs> Les cierro acá el micrófono ya. <laughs> ok, I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> so, the supervisor gave me a discount. Normalmente cuando ustedes vean give, es como give, pero a quién, right? Le dio a quién. So, gave the boss, gave me, gave them, gave him. Digo a quién. Normally. No siempre va normally. Next one, number five. So, what do you have in number five? They sent. They sent. They sent. They sent. Con sent tenemos un problema. Es irregular. ¿Cuál es el pasado de sent? Can you spell that for me? S-E-N-T. Very good. S-E-N-T. They sent. Okay, sent. they sent the contract my email. to very to good to my email. email. Excellent. Okay, so they sent the contract to my email. All right, very good. Uh, and the last one it says he be disappointed. I want to say that él estaba muy decepcionado. How can I say that? He was disappointed. Very good. He was the Disappointed. disappointed. All right, and that's it. So, disappointed is an adjective, right? Que es como super triste, desmotivado, right? Or feeling really bad. No, es un verbo. El verbo sería was. He was disappointed. Guys, question. Los tienen así? Do you have it like this? Tienen preguntas? Teacher, uh, how yeah. the pronunciation of police or I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, it says she read the policies. Poli policies. Mm -hmm. Policies. Policies okay. es como la política de la empresa, right? Okay. Las regulaciones. So and she the, read the policies. The, and the verb by impact. Both. The pronunciation both. Both. Mm -hmm. She bought. Okay. Thank you. So she bought the item in December. Okay, there you go. Eh, ¿Alguien más tiene dudas, preguntas, algo que no está claro o les haya costado, guys? ¿Les sirvió la estructura? ¿Was it easier? Creo que ya estaban ordenados, right? They were in order, solo es como determinar de hacer los cambios a past. Ok, very good. So I'm glad to hear that. Now, vamos a revisar algo que yesterday no eh, pudimos um, revisar because of timing. And this was very important. No hemos revisado mucho el uso de did, right? So today we're going to practice did a little bit. So did es el pasado de do. So we have do and did. Pero did tiene varios usos in past. Lo voy a utilizar para negative sentences y lo voy a utilizar para questions. So en presente decimos, do you? Do you live in San Salvador? Do you work? Do you study? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta en pasado, guys? Did you work? Yes, very good. So no va a cambiar mucho, right? La misma pregunta de presente. Do you like, I don't know. Do you like horror movies? Esto es presente. This is present. ¿Cuál va a ser el único cambio para preguntas en pasado? Cambio do for did. Did you like horror movies? Ahora estoy hablando de pasado. Y puedo agregarle when you were young. So, guys, cuando estábamos más hipotes, cuando estaban hipotes, <laughs> did you like horror movies? ¿Cómo le puedo responder? How can I answer this? 
No, I didn't. Ah, very good. So yes, I can I say, did. yes, I did. Uh -huh. Or no. Para negativas necesito didn't. Entonces, no, I didn't. There you go. Uh -huh. So no, I didn't. That's it. Es bien sencillo. Solo cambiamos en vez de do. Cambiamos y utilizamos did. Y ya me indica que es pasado, right? So this is past. So take a look. Did you watch? Oh, okay. I'm going to ask you some questions. You said, me ayudan, guys. Did you watch Highlander? Guys, did you watch Highlander when you were young? Yes. Yes, yes I did. <laughs> I did. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, let's do this. In here, hay varios emojis. There are a couple of emojis, right? And I think, si no me equivoco, tenemos el emoji de correcto and incorrecto word. No, no está, I don't find it. Okay, so guys, gave me an emoji. If you watched Highlander, please, when you were young. Let's take a look. ¿Cuántos millennials sabemos? You know? <laughs> Or si son centennials or centennials or which ones you are. So, did you watch it? Okay. Oh, Jorge found it. Okay. So Jorge did. Nobody else. Only Jorge. Creo que escuché Sander too. So anybody else? Anybody else? Encontraron sus emojis. Okay, Sandra D. All right. All right. Okay. So the chat the works as well. Uh -huh. Or también hay algo que se, se... De hecho, parece como emojis. That appears as emoji. Okay, I see Karen too. Okay, very nice. Let's go with the next one. Guys, did you watch... Um, let me see. Let me see. Ya nos van a contar un poquito. Yes. yes? One question. Uh, ¿Qué significaba Highlander? Es el nombre del programa, Miss. That's the name of the program. Mm -hmm. So, solo es como un programa de televisión that we had in the past. Los que somos viejitos, Miss. <laughs> okay. So, guys, did you watch uh, Candy Candy? Give me an emoji if you watched Candy Candy. It can be in the chat. It can be here. Oh, okay. Sandra. Yeah. All right, Sylvia. Okay, Karen too. Okay. Ah, okay, Ceci too. Y los niños now, nah, you know. So, main, nothing, guys. Are you see? Yo creo que le da pena. <laughs> I think they don't want to say it. It's fine. Okay, okay, okay. All right, guys, next one. Did you watch, I'm going to change verbs, but next one. This is very important. Did you watch Pasión de Gavilanes? Yes, teacher. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, okay. You wanted to. Oh, All right. I didn't. Yes, I did. No, I can't believe you. It's yes, like I did. Everybody has to watch. No, I did. <laughs> you didn't. So, Sylvia, boys, you didn't. Mr. Reyes, Mr. Amaya, Jonathan, you didn't, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hi, hi, Jonathan. Jonathan, quick question. Did you watch uh, Pasión de Gavilanes? <laughs> With my grandma. Ah, ya veo, Joel, si la vio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, boys, no quiere que los se te quite. Eh, no, que I didn't, temos, teacher. You know, like, like noveleros and all those. Heathcliff? Oh, what's yes, that? Yes, it's a, it's a cat. Oh, he, the he, cat. He rat, rat. Yes. yes. Yeah, I remember I liked them. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Maybe okay. they meant see that. Mm -hmm. Or let me see. Uh, cartoons. Cartoons. They okay, were Thank cartoons, you. yes. Okay, that's a very good question. So, boys. Ah, no, pero es que no les pregunté de anime. Okay, guys, what about uh, Dragon Ball? Did you watch Dragon Ball? Yes, I yes, did. Yes, I did. No, I ah, did. Okay. Ah, yes, okay. I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Uh, there you go. I did. Did you like it? Yes, I did. Yes. 
Yes, I did. Who was your favorite? Uh, so who was your favorite Cinder character? Hub. I'm sorry. Cups. Oh, the Thundercats. Okay, yeah, it's true. Yes. So. Cinder Era Hub. I didn't watch Cinder that. Hub. Yes. Yeah. But I watched yes. the Thundercats. 31. Ulysses 31. Ulysses 31. Ulysses, yeah. Ulysses 31. Yeah. Yes. Very I don't nice. remember. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. Okay, uh, I got another one, guys. So, what about this one? Tag. Did you play tag? So, tag is a Salvadoran game that you run, you run really fast, and a person touches you, and they tell you like Mika, right? So that is yes. tag. Did you play tag when you were young? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, what other games? So, what other game did you play? Trompo. Ah, okay, so Trompo. Oh, yeah. That is Trompo. Bolas. Escondelero, teacher. Ah, Escondelero. Okay, so marbles, all right. Hide and seek, okay. Ladrón, La, ladrón librado. Ladrón Ups librado. Thieves. Okay. Arranca cebolla. Ah, arranca cebolla. I didn't like it. I didn't like arranca cebolla because later. Yes. Grande yes. muerte. Yes. Salta en el también. <laughs> Sorry. ¿Te acuerdas? Salta burro. Ah, yes. Salta burro. What is salta burro? Eh, one person puts in the. Ah, se pone así agachada como. One person bends. Yes, and the uh, other jumps. Jumps on the jumps on the on the like es, es, oh, okay. es oh, ule, el mismo ule. No, ule, no. ule es different. Eh, I, I don't know the name because you have hula hoop, right? And uh, uh, no, but, but no, ule, hula, yes, ule is on the uh, put the ule uh in the legs in the legs in the legs and all all spoon or salt jump. it depends jump, jump. and mm. when the old pass the ule is more i it's higher it's, it's higher. higher more higher ah, okay okay yes. i don't remember that one did you what is the name ule ule <laughs> Ule. Okay, guys, do you play Ule when you were young? Yes, yes teacher. You did. Was it easy or was it difficult? Era fácil? Was it easy or difficult? I don't difficult. remember that game. It was difficult. It's easy. It's easy. The hide and... Yes. Ah, no, okay. I, I liked it. That was my favorite. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I have always yeah. had this question. Is it Niña Pomponte? Niña Pomponte. Pomponte. Pomponte, right? Yeah. Pomponte, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I always, uh, yo siempre la canté Pomponte. I was like, oh, Pomponte, that's another one. Okay. Peregrina. Ah, oh, oh, Peregrina, ese peregrina. estaba pensando. Claro. Hopscotch, yes, hopscotch. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Hopscotch. That's the name in English. Okay. Very good. Now, ¿qué más, guys? ¿Qué hacían? Let's ask these questions. Hablemos un poquito de eat, de qué es lo que comían, right? So, did you eat? Ayúdenme, guys, with this one. Algo raro, probably, or algo común que se comía in the past. Ay, bolsa, bolsa. Oh, did you have, did you buy? Yes, did you buy gloopies? Guys, do you remember yes. gloopies? Yes. Yes, yes. I, I did. Was very, how do you Pretty. say elastic? Elastic? Uh -huh, or uh, stretching? It was elastic, but then, <laughs> no. <laughs> and then it popped. Okay. Yes. So, yeah, that was very nice. How yes. much was the gloopy? Do you remember? It was colones, right? Yeah. Uh, 50 cents. 50 cents. 50. Or... 
But 25 from Cologne. 25 cents. 25 cents from a Cologne. Yeah. In Cologne. Okay. We are talking about como cinco centavos, like five cents. Yes. Yes. Five. Like five, five cents in dollars, right? Yes. Oh my God, que barato. That Bolis. was very cheap. Ah, uh -huh, so that, that, that was bolis, but they also existing, I believe. They still exist, yeah. right? So I think I, I have still seen them. All right, so let's, let's check other things. Oh, we have with eat. All right, guys. Fruitsy, teacher. Fruitsy. Which one? Fruitsy. Fruitsy. Ah, okay. Yeah. So they you drink. <laughs> okay, did teacher. You drink. Which one? Totis. Fruitsy. Ah, Fruitsy. Totis. Fruitsy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's Fruitsy. That was, okay, Fruitsy and a Toti, right? So combined. <laughs> we normally mix them. All right, guys. So take a look at this one. All the questions here. Como estamos hablando del pasado, eh, tengo dos tipos de preguntas. Puedo hacerlo did you, que solo quiero saber si o no, o puedo hacerla siempre, WH questions, so what games did you play, que te, va, voy a pedir más información, right? So do me a big favor, guys, and hagamos cinco preguntas en pasado. Pueden variar los verbos, you can modify them. Here, he utilizado watch, buy, drink, podemos utilizarlo con todos los verbos. Siempre cuando no sea el verbo to be. Because remember, si quiero preguntar eras, eras hablantín, mm -mm, no puedo utilizar did para eso. Para eso utilizamos where you. Eras pleitizo, where you. <laughs> A troublemaker, right? So la pregunta cambia. Remember, si es un verbo diferente, entonces sí utilizo el did. Guys, eh, lo encuentran complicado o is it easy? Lo ven fácil. Solamente necesito did you y el verbo siempre ven presente, sin ningún cambio. Did you and verb in present in the base form? Dudas, guys? Questions? <laughs> okay, that's a very good question, Minor. Did you eat flor de sote with eggs? The answer is no. <laughs> a mí no me gustaba. Guys, como digo, no me gustaba. How can I say it? I didn't like it. Didn't like. I didn't like it. Exactly. So I didn't like flor de sote, you know. So I usually, I call it a uh, Pilisote, you know, because no podía hablar. <laughs> but I didn't like it. So, cinco preguntas, guys. Let's write them. And then vamos a entrevistar a los compañeros. Let's see what else we can get.
one more minute. Um, guys, como vamos, necesitan más tiempo, or did you finish? Si tienen más de cinco, no hay problema, that's even better. Finish. I only, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Um, in that sentence I put, did you tell horror story? Mm -hmm. Is correct. Yes, that is correct. So did you tell? Yeah, but yeah, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Si contaba, verdad? Yes. Okay, yes, 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 yes. That's good. Oh, guys, ¿cómo vamos los demás? How are you doing there? Alrighty, guys. Um, so, ¿qué preguntas tiene? What kind of questions do you have? Can I listen to some of them just to make sure uh, we are on track? O si hay alguna pregunta que no estén seguros, cómo se hace, la revisamos too. Eh, Ceci, estamos haciendo eh, preguntas. We are making questions utilizando did, right? Um, acá está el inicio. Did you y luego el verbo va en presente, no en pasado. So, did you go? Did you read? Did you drink? Did you have? Then, and the, those are the ones. Okay. ¿Qué preguntas tienen, guys? What questions do you have? Uh, did you go to the cable way or teleferic? How do you say, teacher? 
Um, let me see. I have seen telephoric, pero creo que había otra palabra. Okay. Uh, Deme un segundo. Ya le investigo and I'll let you know. Pero hay otro. Oh, cable rail, railway. Mm -hmm. Cos es aéreo. Yeah, cable railway. Okay. Do you go to the cable ra railway, así? Yes, in okay. San Jacinto, right? Yes. Yes. So cable railway. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, guys, ¿qué otras preguntas tienen? ¿Hay alguna que no están seguros? How to make it? ¿O que quieran confirmar de las que tienen? Hello, teacher. Hi, Carlos. Es, es, did she draw the maps of El Salvador? Ok. Eh, como vamos a practicarlas y vamos a hacer las directas a los compañeros, solo cambiamos el she por you. Did you draw? Did you draw the map of El Salvador? Uh -huh. so, solo cambiamos she por you. Did you? Did you draw uh -huh. the map of El Salvador? Yes, did you draw? Very good. ¿Qué más, guys? What do you have? ¿Hay alguna con la que tengan dudas? Um, Joel, Silvia, do you have any? Jonathan, Sandra? Hello? Uh, no. Yes, Sandra? Uh, did, did you have a teacher when you have a baby or younger? Did you have? All pictures. Oh. Ok, I understand the question, pero no sé si la pregunta sería mejor en presente. Because me confirma, quiere preguntar si tiene las fotos de cuando estaba joven o si tuvo fotos ah. cuando estaba joven. Do you? Do you? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, because... Uh, no, 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 it's fine. Don't be sorry. Solo hagamos el cambio en vez de do. do. La pregunta do. está súper bien. Mm -hmm. Do you have all pictures? But, but you know, I don't. <laughs> I don't have pictures when I was young. I have only one picture when I was in kindergarten and, and that's it. So I lost my pictures in the, um, in the earthquake of 2001. Mm -hmm. So para el terremoto perdí todas las fotos. I lost all my pictures. So yeah, that's really bad. That's it. I have I only one have, picture. I don't you have, don't have? <laughs> no, only one when I was uh, seven or six years old. Yeah, me too. So I don't have more pictures. Okay, oh, guys. Yeah. Uh, um, so. The other, uh, did you watch the Exorcist? Exorcist. Exorcist. Yes, Exorcist. La película, right? The Exorcist. Yes. Okay, the Exorcist. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So that's actually a very good question. Okay, Joel, uh, ¿tiene alguna pregunta? Do you have any questions? Uh, yes. Uh, ¿Dudas con sus preguntas? Yes, uh, it's, it's correct. Do you play soccer in the afternoon or at the afternoon? No, in the afternoon está bien. That sounds good. Solo con la pronunciación de, uh, de fútbol. Sería soccer. Soccer. Okay. So, yeah, cambiamos la CC por una K. Soccer. Okay. Did you play soccer or did you play football, right? Mm -hmm. Both are good. Lo demás está super bien. It's good. Okay, guys, vamos a ir a practicarlas. We're going to practice these. Now, right now, si podemos contestar, como la mayoría son sí, no, podemos contestar, yes, I did, no, I didn't. Pero los invito a que intenten dar más información. So, si alguien me pregunta, por ejemplo, did you play soccer in the afternoon? So I can say, yes, I did. I played, de una sola vez, voy utilizándolos. I played soccer with my brother, my neighbors, and my best friends. Eh, and we played in the street. So con poquito, right, vamos ya dando más información. So guys, intentemos dar toda la información que podamos. As much information as you can. 
So give me just a moment. Eh, los voy a invitar a que vayamos a um, unos grupos. Van a ser rapidito y acá sí. Nos vamos quedando sin tiempo. So it's going to be only five minutes, right? So we can go ahead and practice. Wait a second. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm going to send you there. And I have here Jorge. I have Juan Antonio, Karen, uh, Maynard. I have uh, Silvia Estela, nos quedamos por acá, so we stay here. And, perdón, Silvia Inez and Sandra, we stay here, please. Los demás guys acaban de recibir la invitación. Vámonos un momento, let's practice. And then we come back y las revisamos. So give me one second. Les dejo de compartir para que ustedes puedan practicar, guys. All right, guys. So, de las preguntas que acaban de formular, the questions you have, eh, vayamos preguntándole a los compañeros, right? Encontremos gente que le diga, oh, yes, I did. Find people. Pueden tomar nota y luego armamos oraciones con esa información, right? So, go ahead, guys. Uh, si tienen dudas con alguna pregunta, voy a estar por acá. Let me know. Ok. Hello, Sylvia. Hi. <laughs> hi, hi. Hello. Do you, did you watch Carousel? Carousel, yes, I did. It's the eh, telenovela there. Yes, yes. opera. Yes, yes. That they are all 80 or 70. Oh, 80s. 80. 80s. Uh, yes, 80s and 90s. I don't remember. <laughs> 80s and 90s. I don't know. I see. It's my favorite. <laughs> the, the children. Yes. I like I like to see um Simona or Jimena. Ah, sí, Jimena. Jimena. I like the ¿Cómo se llamaba el, el, el moreno? Cirilo. ¿Cómo? Cirilo. Cirilo. Ah, Cirilo, sí. yes. Cirilo. <laughs> da Jimena is este smart and correct. ¿Cómo se dice creída en inglés? Pero era prepotente. Uh, what is? Did you tell horror stories? What? Did you, did you tell horror stories? Stories. Uh -huh. History. Si le, contar, si le gusta contar, si le gustaba contar historias de terror. Uh, I know. I I I I didn't. <laughs> I only uh, listen to my grandfather. No, I didn't. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and did you go to the cable railway? Yes, I did. I, I uh, when I went the I I subimos get out early but when decide to return too late and I come home for 11 or 12 at, at the middle at the middle at night. night yes at the middle night yes and some of you did you buy a um, a snack with one cologne in the school? Yes, at the school. Yes. I, with one cologne, did you buy with one cologne? Palitos. 
palitos para esa esa bread to for large and with salt. Es tan francés, but uh -huh. largos. And put in salt. Bolis, bolis, bolis. En bolis, tú. Uh -huh. uh -huh. En la chiquita, la, la soda, la chiquita. Están la siberianos. Uh -huh. Siberianos. Siberiano. Yes, uh -huh. siberianos. Siberianos. Caramuja. Caramujas. <laughs> Chocobanano. Chocobanano. Yes. Los mataniños. Ay, Los mataniños. Ah, sí, mataniños. Mataniños. Watermelon. Watermelon with sal and um, chili. Ah, ok. Mango. <laughs> Mango. Yes. La choco, choco sandía, algo así. Um, no. Había un dulce, ah, había, um, sería Candy Hands, algo así se llamaba, que era una manita y decía, I love ah. you, Candy Hands, o oh, no sé cómo le decían, ah, o Hand Candy, candy no me recuerdo, pero algo así era el nombre. Candy Hands. Mm. Ah, I did, <ríe> ya yeah, I did. <ríe> bombón. Ay, bombón. Bombón. Uh -huh. What? Mm. In, in mine or, or, or Juan Antonio, do you buy with cologne or only with uh, with dollars? <laughs> eh, dollars. Será que where you uh, sería where you uh, yo 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 uh -huh. bread yes yo yo bread? yes Bro, yo yo <laughs> Yo yo. Yo yo, yo yo o eat yo yo. Eat yo yo. It's uh -huh. a bread. Uh -huh. yes. It's similar to yo yo bread with sugar. Uh -huh. Sugar bread in the bread. Uh -huh. It's similar to yo yo. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, I like with coffee uh -huh. or soda. I see. <laughs> Juan o Maynor o Dalila, do you know the Colón? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> no conocí, ya es. I was born in, in the new siglo, in 2000. 200. <laughs> Yes. I don't know. Ah, oh, yes. Perdón, pero es que This one is Joyo. Eso parece, ellos parecen a unas empanadas que llaman. This is a bread. This a... Yes, but it's a bread. Yes. Yes. In the middle has a a, a, a yeah, pineapple or something like that, no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm allergic. <laughs> and and Jorge, did you visit the zoo? What games did you play the, the trompo? Yes, I did. What game yes, did you play a trompo? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. But for yes. me, it was difficult. In the, uh, también, what game did you play the canita, Bea? Really? Yes. <laughs> what? Las what? canicas. Ah, yes. Había uno que se llamaba Jack. No sé si recuerdas. Ah, ah, sí, Jack. Sí, sí, Jack. 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 Yes, I did. I yes. remember the Jack. Sí, ah, el hule, el hule, cuando, cuando uno decía hule, eh, I, eh, sería, I did a play the, the hule, que se ponía, hule, que, que uno, ajá. No remember. Uh, um, I didn't. <laughs> Eso era bonito. 
Pero si se te reventaba, era horrible. Piscuchas. Yes, oh, I yeah. need yes. play. Yes, I did play the piscucha. Uh, I don't... Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se dice aprendí? Porque a mí me encantaba eh, la piscucha, pero no aprendí a elevarla. I didn't learn. I didn't learn. Ah, I didn't learn. 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 Perdón. Ajá. I did. Uh -huh. Eh, did you dream the, did you dream the, se me ha ido el nombre, espérame, I remember, dream, ay, se me ha ido, los sorbetitos esos de, 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 de chorro, artesanales, de chorro, artesanales, el artesanal, is, yes, 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 did you dream a yes, gingerbread yes, soda, what, yes, I did, Gingerbread is jengibre. No. No, dear. No. no. Uh, Jorge, did you drink ginger soda? Ginger soda. Uh -huh, la de jengibre. Yeah, ginger. Yes. Uh -huh. Ginger uh -huh. soda, yes, I did. Uh, yes, I did. Yes. yes. También, eh, do, quiero ver, sería... Did you drink eh, crema soda? Did you yes, crema soda yes. too? But actually, it's different the taste, no? Yeah. Very it's different. different. Yeah. Did you the, the cook con aceite? Eh, ¿Cómo se llamaba este aceite? El dorado? Las botellas esas que estaban. Que yes, I did, yeah. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yo tengo esa, esa botella de reliquia. Ajá, with, the, with the glass. De vidrio. De oil. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And you go to refill, ¿no? Mm. Ay, no, ya estamos viejos. No, 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 ustedes dos no, minor en, en Juan Antonio, no. You are young. Yeah. Para preguntar, ¿cuándo nacieron sería What was your born? ¿Así sería? Yes, yes what was your born? Ajá. Uh -huh. Minor, what was your. Ah, no, he's saying 2000, 200, ¿no? ¿En Juan Antonio? Quiero ver cómo se dice. Dígalo en español, nosotros 1996, le ayudamos. 1996, creo que sería. Ah, 1996. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. 1996, wow. ¿Y tú, Jorge? <risa> um, sería... Pregunta aquí en el Nineteen Nineteen Seventy Four Seventy Four Okay Mil novecientos setenta y cuatro Ajá Okay Good I was in 1973. Ah, por un año se lleva. Yes, <laughs> one year. <laughs> and, and Silvia Inés? Silvia? Silvia Inés, creo que no oh, sé. Ya está. Ya está. Yes. One, seven, nine, 76. Sí. Yes. 1976. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I 70. Quiero ver, sería night. Sería 19, sería 1978. Uh, okay. okay. Me, I, uh, 1988. 1988. <gasps> 
en el que está like a maid. <risa> Ok, es good. Por eso se saben cosas bastante similares todos ustedes. <risa> yes. Yes. Somos de sí, las 70. Casi, casi de la, la misma sí, estamos, época. Sí, nosotros somos de los 15 para acá. Oh. <risa> hey, and did you buy uh, little pupusas in, a, in ateos? No. No. In oh, ateo. yeah. Yes, en, a, en Ateo, creo que se llama el lugar ahí en Sonsonate, ¿no? Uh -huh. No, Sonsonate, Sonsonate o Ateo. <risa> no, Ateos, pero, Ateo. de, ajá. pero venían unas pupusitas chiquititas cuando no pasaba. Ajá. En el puentecito. Ah, en el centro de usted. No, en el puente, uh -huh. hijo. <risa> Vendían unas pupusitas, sí, pero no es chiquitita. De Cora. Yes. Ajá, se las daban en una, sí. una bolsita y como bueno, cuando iba de no, me, a la playa. ¿Y cuántas compraba? ¿Por qué? <risa> eh, chicas, do you remember the the did, eh, ¿cómo se dice vestido? Se me ha ido ahorita. Dress. Dress, la sí. abusadora. <risa> Había un vestido en aquellos tiempos que le llamaban abusadora, uno que, que eran como brillosos. Do you not remember? No. 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 Sorry. I, I use Sorry. the, I use the I bad light. Pero es que eso es de los años 70. Ay, no. 80 y 90 no entran. <risa> Cecilia. Ni, ni lo mandó a decir. Ay, <risa> guys. No, es que Ay, ya, ya somos de la vieja escuela. No es no, mentira. <risa> Aquí le están sacando la edad, guys. <risa> Ay, oh, a todos. <risa> no, están aquí. Los están exhibiendo. Así es, eh, es que preguntamos si conocían los colones y no los conocieron, entonces. No, eso... ¿quién no conoció colones? Mi eh. teacher. Oh, no, no creo. Minor. Mi teacher. Ok, pues minor sí le creo porque creo que es el más chiquito del grupo. Sí, okay. sí, no, no vio colones. Yo diría no. así, la de colones. Ok. I have one bills of ya cos creería que ahora ya no existen i don't think they exist anymore So, no, no. okay, very interesting. Guys, ha sido muy productivo. It has been a very productive night. And unfortunately, el tiempo se nos agotó. So we are running. Um, so please, solo no se les olvide trabajarme la plataforma, right? Vayamos trabajándole para que sea más fácil los verbos. Y también trabajemos los simple past. So para mañana, eh, les compartí la listita de verbos, right, que tenemos. Tomemos los primeros cinco de, a, de ahí. So, tenemos be, break, build, buy, and come. Come ya estaba de ahora, entonces, it's not going to be that difficult. Intentemos okay. memorizarlo y revisamos tomorrow. So, antes de dejarlos ir, solo me regalan confirmación verbal, people. So, y la camarita, por favor. I have Mr. Reyes. Presente. Gracias. Cecilia. Ceci. Presente. César creo que salió. Ivonne. Present teacher. Gracias. Dalila. Dalila estaba aquí. Iván. Gracias, Miss. Ay, Iván se estaba acá. Eh, Joel. Present. Thank you. Present. Present. Thank you. Present. Jonathan. Present teacher. Gracias. I have Jorge. Present teacher. Gracias, Jorge. Juan, um, uh, Amaya, Mr. Amaya. Here. Thank you. I have uh, Juan Antonio. Present. Gracias. Karen. Present. Thank you. Creo que la vi a ella. A ella también. Minor. 
Ahí está. Sandra. Present. Gracias. Silvia Estela. Present teacher. En Silvia Inés. Present teacher. Ok. Amazing. Sir. Yes, gracias, Minor. Ya lo tomé por acá. Ok, guys, sir. Thanks a lot for your attendance. Nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have an amazing night, everybody. Que descansen. Eh, no se les olviden los verbos, please. Have a good night. Bye bye, guys. Thank you, teacher. Good night. See ya. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs>